Hello, this is Ronald K4GET, and just a quick update. Um, I haven't gone forward with the gravel filter yet, but I will be soon. These are just add-on filters that I'm going to be putting on top of the gravel filter. And uh, these could be, you know, plenty sufficient for koi pond, you know, medium size, small size alone uh, without the gravel filter. But I believe in overkill, so I'm going to put them all together, all three different types of filter. The gravel uh, mechanical filter, the biological bead filter, and wet dry trickle filter. So let me show you both of them. Of course, you've seen the videos of the wet dry filter, the trickle filter. It's been up for, oh, about almost four weeks now. It's definitely cycled through since I put a seed in it. And um, it's working nicely. The water has been nice and clear. And um, it didn't get cloudy until I started messing around with another filter. So it got a little cloudy, but not too bad. You can still see the rocks at the bottom. So, you know, once the other uh, filter starts cycling, it should clear it up. Uh, so that's the wet-dry portion, the add-on to the, uh, the DIY wet-dry trickle filter add-on to the gravel filter. And now here is the... Here is the... Um, the bead filter, the moving bead filter. Now I've been working on that, trying to get the flow rate set, filling it up, getting all of the uh, the beads back in it. I have uh, a few more to put in it, but as you can see, it's moving nicely. I'm using a power head and air, a couple of air stones in there. So um, the design was real simple. I've showed you that in previous videos. Uh, anybody could make either one of these pretty simply just by getting a five gallon water jug and it's pretty easy. Uh, you've gone through both of the filters with me in videos so this is working. A uh, work in progress. Uh, that's the DIY moving bead filter add on for the DIY gravel filter which is coming soon. I'll be finishing that up in about a week. I just need to go get some gravel. So there you have it. Update number whatever. I don't know what it is. This, this isn't really a number. This is just an update for both filters. So you can see them both sitting on a koi pond and working. Operational. And there you have it. This is Ronald K4GET. Have a great day.